Let's talk about lighting with Podium. There are three ways to light your scene. You can simply turn on the shadows in SketchUp and use the SketchUp Sun. You can make a light emitting material, referred to as LEM, or you can make an OmniLight. By turning on the SketchUp shadows, you activate the Sun. The Sun is essentially a large OmniLight that is positioned by choosing the time of day and the time of year. The intensity of the Sun is changed by moving the dark slider. Soft shadows can be turned on and off by selecting the Use Sun for Shading option. Soft shadows typically look better from far away. Here is an example of lighting using only the sun. LEMs are created by making a face and applying a light value to it. Make sure that the light is applied to the normal face. The reverse face will render black and not project light. LEMs give great shadows, but typically take longer to render. If you are going to use LEMs, use an array of smaller LEMs as opposed to one large LEM. Here is an example of lighting using only an LEM. To create an OmniLight, make a group. Whatever color you apply to the group, the OmniLight will emit that color of light. After the group is created and color is added, if you choose to add some, with the group selected, add a light value with the light slider. If no color is added to an OmniLight group, a default white light will be emitted by the OmniLight. It should be noted that when an OmniLight is rendered, the geometry will not appear. The shape of your geometry is not important, but the size is. Here is an example of lighting using a colored OmniLight on the left and a default white OmniLight on the right. Make sure not to put OmniLights too close to faces, especially high-powered ones. Doing so will typically cause a very bright hotspot to show up. Making an array of low-powered Omnis will typically give a nice even lighting. The trick is setting the Omni size, Omni light value, and the distance of the Omni light from faces to accommodate the size and space of your model. In this example, you can see on the right the hotspot left by the Omni too close to a face. The more even lighting on the left from the array can be seen. Probably the most common technique for lighting is to use Omni Arrays and the Sun. Experiment with using different combinations, or maybe even just trying one type of light source to figure out what works best for you. A great way to save time lighting your model is to use the Podium Light Fixtures Library. If you've purchased a copy of Podium, simply download the light library from the Registered Users section of our website. You will be prompted for your serial number the first time you run the light library. The Light Library offers hundreds of drag-and-drop components with different categories of lighting. Light fixtures from actual manufacturers have Omnis with preset light values. All you have to do is place the component in your model and hit Render. Here's an example of lighting using light fixtures from the Light Library. Occasionally, you may have to adjust the light values of the Omnis since the fixtures cannot be set to accommodate every scenario. That concludes the tutorial of lighting with Podium 1.6.